What happened? There's nothing worse than a bad game that ruins your favorite game series. Yes, we're looking at you, Mass Effect Andromeda. But since we mentioned that game in so many of our other videos, we won't put it on this list. In this video, we take a look at games that are the black sheep of their franchise. Get ready for 10 games that brought shame to their series. The Sonic franchise certainly had its fair share of embarrassing entries over the years. However, the game that missed the mark the most has to be Shadow the Hedgehog. The game turned this upbeat series into something that was supposed to be edgy. Shadow listens to rock and he has a lot of attitude. For some reason, the designers also felt it was necessary to give him guns. The gameplay was complete garbage, making this gritty game the worst entry in the series. And that is saying a lot. Sorry, Doctor, but this is the end for you. To be fair, our hopes weren't that high for Metal Gear Survive. Konami using the Metal Gear name after firing the creator of the series felt like a betrayal. Well, as it turns out, the game had very little to do with the Metal Gear universe. What we got was a pretty boring survival game with lots of resource management. The game is also full of microtransactions, which makes it even less charming. It's clear that Konami simply slapped the Metal Gear name on the box to generate some extra income. Call of Duty is one of the biggest game franchises in the world. Publisher Activision always tries to hit a certain level of quality, but they did slip up with Call of Duty Ghost. We should have seen this coming, since they used a dog and realistic moving fish in their marketing for the game. In the end, the campaign was mediocre and the multiplayer failed to make any significant changes. Call of Duty Ghosts ends on a pretty big cliffhanger, but we never saw a direct sequel. Activision left this train wreck behind and focused on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare instead. You'd have been a hell of a ghost. But that's not gonna happen. There ain't gonna be any ghosts. We're huge Resident Evil fans and will play almost anything this franchise throws at us. This backfired when Capcom released Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. They also messed up Resident Evil Umbrella Corpse, by the way, and Resident Evil Survivor. Why are there so many bad entries in this series? Anyway. Operation Raccoon City is nothing more than a boring multiplayer game with a terrible story. Run! Stars! We still played it for over 40 hours because we're that desperate for Resident Evil content. Shame on us, we guess. All right, weapons live. We're ready for action. Welcome to Umbrella. Nobody thought Duke Nukem Forever would be a great game. It was in development hell for over 15 years, which is never a good sign. However, the final game was so shockingly bad, it's kind of insulting. The graphics were terrible, which is understandable after such a long development cycle. However, the same can't be said for the terrible jokes and boring gameplay. Eat my tire. 
We loved the Duke in the 90s, but he really didn't age well. Hail to the king of bad games, baby. Look at my ass. Do it now. There are video games that bring shame to their own franchise, and then there's Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. This game is so bad, it's kind of hard to believe it actually came out. The fact that they dared to launch this piece of garbage is an insult to anyone who grew up playing the series as a kid. How could you ask 60 bucks for a game that lacks content and is no fun to play at all? This game killed off the already dying franchise, and we wonder if we'll ever hear from Tony Hawk again. Poor Tony. Ninja Gaiden used to be the best action game series in the gaming industry. The first two 3D games were amazing and fans were hyped for the third entry. However, Ninja Gaiden 3 turned out to be a huge failure. The reason for this is quite obvious. Itagaki, the main man behind the series, left the development team. This had a huge impact on the quality of the game. You're mine! You're cut off! Ninja Gaiden 3 took out all the complexity of the previous two games and turned it into a brainless action title. Two years later, they released the horrible spin-off Yaiba, which buried the franchise for good. You know a publisher has messed up when they have to give away a game for free just to say sorry. That's what Ubisoft did when fans were upset about the horrible state of Assassin's Creed Unity. ACU was the first one in the AC brand where we saw that it was a much lower Metacritic. For people to work so hard on something for four years and then to have the reception that it had, you're leaving a piece of yourself in that thing. The game launched so broken that many gamers weren't able to play it at all. The ones who did manage to get it running were treated to many glitches, which provided lots of hilarity on the internet. The once great Assassin's Creed name had been soiled and Ubisoft had to work hard to restore the franchise. Luckily, they managed to save it and we certainly had a lot of fun playing Assassin's Creed Origins. Goldfinger's taking his Midas fixation too far this time. Follow my lead and we'll get the job done. GoldenEye is one of the most beloved games from the Nintendo 64 era. So gamers were hyped when Electronic Arts released an official sequel seven years later. However, GoldenEye Rogue Agent couldn't even come close to capturing the magic of the original. The beautiful set pieces were traded in for levels that were about as exciting as visiting your local museum. The production value just wasn't there and the story was all over the place. It could have been great, but what we got was nothing more than another bargain bin shooter. Demon Slayer, Dante. Devil May Cry is one of our favorite action game series. However, the series almost died because of the terrible second game. The combat system in Devil May Cry 2 was worse than in the original. The main character was also less likable, and the game had some very frustrating levels. It's almost like the developer had no clue about what the game is like from the original. However, they did redeem themselves with the excellent Devil May Cry 3. But it's best to never speak of the second game in the series again. 
Do you know any other games that brought shame to their series? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.